putting on the big A fan. Big A. That doesn't look like an LHT shirt. <clears throat> Sorry. Is it available in the store? But it's cute. All right, let's get the sucker up to about half. Don't do three quarters because it blows your head off when we're the other side of it. This is coming up on two years old, this fan, by the way. How are you? Good, good. S2000 here for fluids and kind of like a check over. This customer has plans to bring it in later in the year to do a little bit of a package, but wants us to kind of give it a once over and bring all the fluids up to date, which means let's do it in order. Right here, engine, trans. There's no oil in the drive shaft, hopefully, and then diff. And then of course flush the brakes. All right, uh, trans fluid is not horrible, but it's a little gold. Uh, when it's new, it's almost translucent, but it's normal, so it's not out of whack. It's not anything that we should be concerned with. And again, I just talked to the customer. We always like to inform him what we're seeing, even if it's not related to what we're doing, if we know something's off or know something needs to be addressed, but also make people feel comfortable with their purchase. Uh, you see all this is new, the whole rear subframe has been replaced. But you don't want someone thinking that their car is bad. You know, if you can reassure them, I mean, we always look over this kind of thing. Look over the bushings, look over the end links. So it's always good to, you know, assure someone everything is good. And again, he just mentioned he watches our videos and he's learned from our videos, which again is something we like to do. Kind of educate people, let them know what they're looking for whether they're buying a car or whether they're taking it to a shop to get work on, want to make sure that they are somewhat educated and then they're not going to get taken for a ride. Um, anyway, I'll just let you into a secret. The front springs are on the back and the back springs are on the front. There is a real fancy letter on there that says R and F. I don't have to tell you what that means. Right here. You can see that letter at the front. Anyway, that is an R. That stands for rear. So I don't know how many of you guys have started seeing this filter show up. This is the one from the dealership. It's the Honda filter made by these guys. It's changed color, which I'm so used to that nice blue Honda filter. I want to show you in a minute. So this, when I see this, I mean, if Honda is uh, offering it, they've obviously tested it. They're not just selling it because they're making money on it, but. The color of it just looks, I so much prefer this. This is just a nice looking filter. And again, it's just Honda's changed manufacturers. Uh, the part number is probably the same. No, it's not. Part number has changed. Uh, 15400 PCX. Uh, the new one is 306. The old one is 004. So this is just on a side note. It's a cylinder head we took off an S2000 kind of good to show you what you're looking at here this is an AP1 head it's a 2000 you can see pretty close here the difference between that height and this height and how much of the tip of the valve is sticking out versus this one so this is one of the reasons that we recommend you do the retainers that one too and then that one on the end this looks like it's works. Uh, yeah what happens is this is actually bending up around here and it's folding up you see those two light spots there that's where the rocker is actually being contacted in that retainer. What happens is when this retainer breaks, this all falls apart and the valve drops in the cylinder. It usually wipes out the whole motor. So it's one of the reasons that we recommend you doing the retainers and the keepers. Uh, this is the exhaust side. These don't have as many issues, but you can see on the edge here how thin that is. We see more on the intakes, but a handful of the exhausts. Now's the time just to do it all. It's not that much more, but you can see that one is so bad that one's ready to pop off that would be pretty devastating for the motor it usually wipes out the motor think of that valve dropping in the motor piston comes up it usually damages that valve damages the cylinder uh, uh, damages the piston it usually wipes out the whole thing you end up leaving with a valve cover everything else is junk so he's actually replaced the whole head he's purchased a head i'll show you it here in a minute car had a bad misfire and it seemed like it was the head this is like our throwaway pile, it's like draining. This was a car we just did a clutch on. Look at that, how bad that was. I mean, it was like half of a clutch. It was awful. It had an aftermarket slave 
an aftermarket master. The whole paddle feel was terrible. The clutch didn't work. It made it here, but just. So this is all <laughs> our barrel of throwaway for right now. So this has a Canon intake on it. I'm looking at the filter, it looks a little dirty. I think we'll pull that off and give it a clean with the uh, K&N uh, refinish kit, which is like a cleaner. You run a garden hose through it, let it dry, and then re-oil it. And the oil is basically what sticks and holds the dust, helps filter it as well, stops the uh, uh, fine uh, particles going through here. But you just gotta be careful when you wash these things. But I'll go ahead and do that. Uh, we're changing the belt. We'll just pop the belt off it. The belt is the original. Again, it's not a lot of miles, but it is a lot of age. 21 years. It's always a good idea to replace it before it breaks. Take a look at the clutch. Again, it's low and it's kind of dark. So always look at this first. Get a good look at it. See if you can see, you know, any kind of debris in there. And then always go around and take a look on the inside to check. See if there is an issue. I've shown you this before. I'm going to show you again in case it's your first time watching here. Again, just trying to tell you to look at this stuff and show you what to look for. All right, so a quick look at the inside of this. Look how perfect this car is. It's beautiful. So this is what you're going to look for. You're going to follow this area here. Obviously, look for your clutch pedal. Hopefully, you're using the one all the way on the left. But if you look up there, so you can see where it's had like a drip, but it's not wet, but it looks kind of questionable. Um, so that's what just came off that. It's like grease. It's not fluid. So it's not terrible. It's not 100%, but it's not bad. So I don't want to just charge a customer to replace that. There's actually nothing with it. If we put fresh fluid in, it's probably going to be fine. But as you see, it's grease coming out of there. It's not actual brake fluid. If it was brake fluid, it means it's passing by the master itself and it's not. So we'll just go ahead and leave that one. It's good. So I didn't film the last one, but always look around your radiators for cracks. These plastic tanks often crack. Here's a quick look. I didn't film it, but that was the last one <laughs> we just looked at. That was pretty bad. So this one is good. Again, it looks good. It's always good to keep looking and make sure everything is as nice. As it can be this one is beautiful the belt we got on next and this one will pretty much be ready to go once the filter is clean and put back on and re-oiled this one's good this one's done filter is done engine trans diff brake fluid flush clutch flush new serpentine belt give it an inspection everything is good just got to torque the wheels double check the clutch adjustment and we're good to go the customer is all clear ready to come back later in the year for a package and then we'll see this one again keep a mental note of this car one mental note to look at is the height there's your front right there there's your back classic case of front on the back back on the front all right so this is the new head that we're putting on he supplied this is an entire new head from inline pro I'll put a couple of snapshots in there somewhere, but it's got uh, CNC ported, uh, all new guides, valve springs, retainers, looks like it's a uh, Supertech valve train, but we're actually installing this. Everything else checked out, the bottom end looked good, we're doing all new seals, gaskets, and this should really, really wake this car up. It's a stock bottom end, 2-2 bottom end, but with the head as bad as it was, this thing is going to be a transformation. He's louder than anything. You detail in the top, Mister. I can't. It's driving me crazy. It looks like it was rubbed with a a woolly blanket or something. Yeah. Thank you for getting me hooked on this, by the way, Jeff. About ten years ago, I he goes. I gotta be able to afford my car, so <laughs> I gotta sell cars. Yeah. He got me hooked on this stuff. I'm still drinking it. All right, so I got the calipers removed. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start slicking this out. You can get a good view of it now. If you look at it from here, this is the big area that 
I always concentrate on take that line off and blend this down it looks a whole lot better and then you can kind of see some of the casting marks here it's just a bit of a shaping along there it's not a huge amount but just taking that off and slicking it around here looks a whole lot better